So next, let me invite another colleague, Simon Ward, a senior member of our sales consulting team. Simon, welcome and Thank good morning you. to you. Good morning, Mary. Tell me a little bit what we're looking at. Okay, so this morning we're going to take a look at um, Aviator IoT. So this is our Aviator platform for connecting to our IoT devices that we have all over the, all over the place. So the beauty of our platform is that it's capable of connecting to very simple IoT devices. So we're probably all very familiar with the Apple AirTag to help us find our keys. Yeah. Um, I know my wife's losing them all the time. Um, so it can connect to things like that. Alternatively, it can connect to something a little bit more sophisticated, such as a, a truck um, in a supply chain um, that's driving. We need to know the temperature of that truck because we need to know that the, the, um, the goods within inside the truck are, um, are, are at the right temperature. So this will help us track and manage these yeah. assets? It, exactly that. So, okay. so we've got an example here of a hospital. So this is a, um, our, our hospital, um, Spara Healthcare. And what they're doing is they're tracking hundreds of thousands of assets within inside their organization from, and as you can see, ECG machines to IV pumps to maybe the televisions, the PCs that they have within inside the hospital. So we can track everything, right? So this is the first time you can have a real cockpit to have a good overview um, of what we've got within inside the hospital. And with this hospital here specifically, um, they need to organize a new x-ray machine um, because in this example, um, the portable x-ray machines they've got, they've not got quite enough, so we need to order, order one. So we have the ability as well to track um, deliveries and bring other information um, into, the, um, into the platform. So in this particular example, we can pull shipping data. So we can pull data from DHL, logistics, logistics, um, logistics partners. But also we can use the device as well to help us track. So in this example here, I'm just showing that. We've all seen these types of things. Yeah. But Mark talked um, a little bit earlier about um, how we would connect machine to machine and understand and use um, AI to understand these things. We could spot if there was a problem with that delivery. And maybe if we're in a large supply chain and we've got something coming from a, a long way and it was going um, to cause us some in issues with manufacturing, maybe we need to order from a local supplier. Might be a bit more expensive, but the, the platform is able to give us that capability. How do you manage fraudulent activities or how do you ensure the... Uh, ethnicity of the content that you have? Um, really good question. So we have, um, we have the capability to authenticate um, your goods when they arrive. So when your goods arrive, you can either have a QR code that you can scan and you can authenticate, or you might have a serial number. So I'm going to just give you a quick, quick overview here. So if I want to authenticate my x-ray machine, I can click on authenticate. It's going to ask me for a number, a code. So if I can't scan a QR code, I'm just going to enter a code. Just click here and I enter my code and I click on authenticate. So now what this does is it now reconfirms, it goes back to our, da to our, our database, it now confirms the serial number and model number. It could also supply you other information. So it could give me, for instance, an implementation guide or a video. User manual. User manuals, all those types of things. Great. Okay. Um, so yeah, so true visibility. Yeah. Um, in terms of authenticating. How do we manage the edge once that asset is received and deployed in a hospital? So let, let, me, give you, um, let me give you an example. So on this particular example here, we've got our, our floor of our hospital. Um, and what we've got here is we've got multiple devices that we've got over our hospital. And as you can see, I can drag over each one of these. Now what this is doing is, is this is giving me real-time information of all of our assets on the, on the hospital floor. So if you think of the operational staff wanting to know where things are in a busy hospital, we're moving our portable x-ray machines around, and maybe something's happened, um, and we need to move that x-ray machine to our A&E department because somebody's just come in to see it. So at the moment, as you can see, I've got lots of different assets, but I can narrow that search down and I can say, just give me portable x-ray machines. So the filter is now just looking for those. Okay. And one of the things that the platform's able to do is we, we've given our assets friendly names um, just so that we can go find them because you know, maybe we, people can find them. So we want to go and find our e e Egon machine. So I'm going to fly over. There's Winston there. And then down here in room H3, W131, that's where the x-ray machine is. So now I can Wonderful. instantly go and get that. I haven't got to go running around the hospital floors looking for it. Excellent. I can go and take that to A&E. Excellent. That's wonderful. What, what else do you see us doing with IoT? What new innovations can we bring? 
So one of the things we're starting to see, and this, this is an example of our operations field. So you can see that I've selected the, um, the X-ray machine here. But predictability um, is always key. Knowing when we need to, uh, maybe knowing when we need to service it, we need to plan with inside the hospital. So what we're now doing is we're not only pulling, we're pulling not just location, but we can pull other sets of information from the device. Service data. Service data, dosage. Dosage is really important for us. Where, um, which procedures it was, and we're restricting the data. So for me as a maintenance person, I'm just seeing critical data. Um, but it enables me then to plan and do some forward planning. Um, and if the dosage, for instance, if the dosage goes too much and we're giving our patients too much dosage, the system will automatically notify me. I can send an engineer out there. We can mark that as red, and we can then stop utilizing that device in real time. And that's what's really important. Simon, this is a great demo. Thank you so much. Thank you.